Ever since pole position in 1983, Formula One has always played a part of the racing genre in video games. Jeff Crammon's 1991 simulation Grand Prix played an integral role in moving Formula One games from arcade games to being full simulations of the sport. Platforms, Arcade, SG-1000, Intellivision, ColecoVision, Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum, Atari 7800, Nintendo Entertainment System, Game Boy, Commodore 16, Commodore Plus, 4, Amstrad CPC, MSX, Amiga, Atari Street, PC-DOS, Sega Mega Drive, Sega Genesis, Sega Game Gear, TURBOGRAFX-16, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Sega Master System, Sega CD, Sega Saturn, PlayStation, Microsoft Windows, Nintendo 64 Dreamcast, Game Boy Color, PlayStation 2, Xbox, GameCube, PlayStation Portable, PlayStation 3 Wii, Xbox 360, iOS, PlayStation Vita, Nintendo 3DS, Mac OS X, Wii U, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Mac OS, Android, TV OS, Linux. Early roots and arcade games The roots of Formula One games can be traced back to the 1970s, with arcade games such as Grand Track 10 which depicted F1-like cars going on a racetrack. However, the first successful Formula One game in arcade history was Pole Position, by Namco. In pole position, the player has to complete a lap in a certain amount of time in order to qualify for a race at the Fuji racetrack. After qualifying, the player had to face other cars in a championship race. The game was very successful and it spawned an official sequel, Pole Position 2, and an unofficial one, Final Lap. After the success of Pole Position, many similar games appeared in arcades and later ported to home computers such as TX1. During the late 1980s, arcades began being dropped in favor of home computer games. Late successful arcade games can be considered Super Sprint, which uses the top view instead of the rear view of most games, and its sequel Championship Sprint. <laughs> Dawn of the home computer era The first true Formula One racing simulators were Checkered Flag and Jeff Kremen's Formula One Grand Prix F1 GP. Checkered Flag featured fuel depletion and car damage, and a set of several real circuits. Previously, most racing games representing Formula One, such as Accolade's Grand Prix Circuit and Electronic Arts Ferrari Formula One, had been arcade-style games, but F1 GP paid more attention to the physics of the cars, in addition to innovative graphics and accurate rendering of the actual racing tracks. The game, released in 1992, was based on the 1991 season. Over the years, the game had sequels Grand Prix 2, 3, and 4 based on 1994, 1998, with a 2000 update, and 2001 respectively. The F1 official license was also held by Ubisoft and later transferred to Electronic Arts, which created seasonal simulations and also F1 Challenge 1999-2002. A notable place on PC simulation games is held by Papyrus's Grand Prix Legends, which depicted the 1967 Formula One season instead of the then-current season, like all other contemporaries. It recreates in a very accurate way the physics of the car and the feel of driving a real 1967 Formula One racer. For this, even after many years, it is still considered one of the most realistic games ever made. The game still has a vast popularity among video gamers, with many mods and original circuits being produced. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Console gaming. Beginning from the second part of the 1980s, more games were being created for personal computers, which could guarantee an easier and less expensive development. Most of these games featured racetracks, cars and driver names similar to the real ones, but all modified slightly, since they did not have official licenses from FIA. Examples of this are Super Monaco GP and its sequel Ayrton Senna's Super Monaco GP2, which had a license to display only Ayrton Senna's name or Nigel Mansell's World Championship, but many other less known games had similar features. 
The first half of the 1990s saw a growing in popularity of Formula One games, and many software houses began acquiring licenses and display most real names and cars, for example Formula One by Domark, which featured most real tracks, drivers and teams. The 3D graphics revolution started by Jeff Crammon's Grand Prix did not go unnoticed by the console market. Some software houses began developing games in this style like Sega with its Virtua Racing, and later Namco with Ace Driver, Victory Lap which featured futuristic, F1-like cars. The first 3D game to feature a full license was Formula One, developed by Bizarre Creations and released on PlayStation, the first game of the successful Formula One series. Despite the game being a mostly arcade game rather than a simulation, it was very well received. Later the series moved towards a more realistic race approach. Other Formula One games released around the same time include EA Sports F1 series and video system, Nintendo's F1 World Grand Prix and F1 World Grand Prix 2. While Formula One games in general are strict reproductions of the sport regardless of gameplay style, Codemasters F1 Race Stars was the first to bring Mario Kart style gameplay to the setting, while their official license from FIA, which the company has held since 2009, allowed for the teams complete with their respective sponsors and drivers from that year's season to be given a cartoonish makeover. Topic: <laughs> Modern PC simulators. As the trend towards open-source software has increased, developers have realized that many video games users like to add their own features to the games, and many modern PC racing games have become easier to mod. Games such as R-Factor, although not primarily a Formula One game, have become somewhat of a development stage. R-Factor players can download several mods for various F1 seasons, including classic seasons such as 1955 and 1979. The game's makers, Image Space Incorporated, have worked with the BMW Sauber F1 team to introduce a realistic version of both the F1.06 and F1.07. Sony had held an exclusive license to make Formula One games from 1996 until 2006. It is now held by Codemasters, who have released games based around the 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017 and 2018 F1 seasons. <laughs> PS2 and PS3 After Formula One was released on PlayStation, PS1, F1 games were then taken over by PlayStation 2, PS2, and Xbox. The first being Formula One 2001 for the PS2, and PS1. In 2002, EA Sports released a video game called F1 Career Challenge for PS2 and Xbox which runs from the 1999-2002 F1 season with all drivers from each season. In 2003, Grand Prix Challenge was released by Melbourne House and published by Atari. It was well received by critics. Although unknown by the most F1 gaming fans, it was praised for high quality graphics for its time. After Formula 106 was released on PS2, Sony Computer Entertainment and Studio Liverpool released a new version for the PlayStation 3 in early 2007 called Formula 1 Championship Edition. Codemasters has released Formula One racing games for the 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, and the 2014 seasons for the PlayStation 3. Topic: <laughs> Xbox 360. Codemasters after securing the license in 2008, created F1 2010, which was released on the Xbox 360 for the first time. This is based on the 2010 season, and features all the official drivers and circuits. The game was released in September 2010, and was also released on the PC and PlayStation 3. A sequel to the game, F1 2011 was released in September 2011 and was updated to feature the new drivers and circuits in the 2011 Formula 1 season, upon which the game was based. The game was initially available for Xbox 360 PC, PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita. In November 2011, a version of the game was released for the handheld, Nintendo 3DS. <laughs> PC mods 
In most PC racing games like R Factor, Grand Prix 4 and F1 Challenge 99 02, players can download mods that enable the game to replicate mostly all seasons of Formula 1. Topic list A list of Formula One video games that lists only those uses the F1 name, whether it is licensed by the Formula One group or just F1 in name, is licensed by racing drivers and teams involved within the series otherwise featuring sprites that resemble a Formula One car in a way to get around licensing, featuring deliberately misspelt driver and team names, is named after a Grand Prix race that appear in the F1 calendar or those that features races that appear in the F1 calendar. <laughs> 